Hey, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage, and we're back in the garage now working on the 53 F250 for the Hot Rod Power Tour. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and start framing up the bed. Um, it needs a lot of work to stiffen it up and make it reasonably safe. Uh, it was using four L brackets, and that was it to hold the bed on, and just two pieces of angle iron for the wood. So, we're going to get to work on that. Let's go. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Alright we're about to Get started on the 53 I've got to remove this bed wood And start working on Building up some framing For the actual bed um, right now it's, it's badly put together and also the bed it's hard to tell but it's unlevel it's it's over to the driver's side a little bit more it's not exactly straight and it's a little higher on one side than the other the previous owner just did not do a good job of mounting it it's got like four mount points and then it's just kind of hanging off the sheet metal of the bed so I'm gonna start by removing this bed wood and then start kind of just tinkering around and seeing uh, what we can do. I got some one by one square tubing so I can just kind of frame it up. So time to get to it. All right, see this is what we're dealing with. The Crown Vic floor is still here. There's a lot of spray foam and then there are just these two L brackets right here in the front that connect this bed and then there's just two pieces of metal right here on this side that connect it so there's not not good I mean this is right here is connected to the frame but it's just not sturdy enough I mean you can see this I shakes you know the bed wood actually helps it out probably a lot but it's just not structurally sound so we got to frame this up and get this connected better so that'll make me happy all right so what i've decided to do with this mess is basically i'm going to start with the front part of the framing on the sides and on the back and I want to get that straight and level where I want it, which I'm probably going to do like a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 degree angle to the back because I'm going to have it a little raked. Um, but I want a nice level, you know, bed surface for the most part. So I'm, I'm still trying to decide if I want to level the actual bed or level this wood part. It can lean towards the forward, but I'm going to essentially, I'm just frame this up get this square and get it welded together that way I can level this in the actual bed itself from side to side and because I've already just going to use a few things I got these little pieces right here that get me the 0.4 that I want it sits on the front but that driver's side is a lot lower on that rail because of the way they've got this stuff everything is kind of cattywampus per se and I think the reason it's over a little bit is because they were worried about this gas filler neck but it either way I'm gonna have to do some cutting I'm gonna have to cut this support loose because this side needs to come up a little bit and then I gotta grind these welds off of here and then I should be able to raise this side up because it's about a half inch taller on the uh, driver's side um so well i'm sorry shorter on this driver's side so i need to lower it and it looks straight and the reason it looks straight is because i need to put new bushings on the cab because the cab is also leaning a little bit on this side so perfect example of this is i can actually open this door and it'll close on its own and that's because of that lean so i know it's leaning and i've kind of looked at the leveling and i figure at worst, I'll put a 
new bushing on that side because it could have got melted a little bit from the rubber when I was doing some welding. Or it could just be this, just someone mounted it badly. And uh, that could very well be the case. But um, I'll put a bushing and some new washers on there. And if I have to, I might, you know, put a couple of the wash, extra washers on there just to raise it up that little bit that it needs. But about to weld this stuff together, so. Got the base of the frame started basically got a, a squared up it's not exactly square the way I wanted it to be there's a little flex in the top so it, it's not quite but the front is good and then basically got one crossbar in the middle and the front and then the two sides and what I want to do the reason I'm doing this first before I start cutting the bed loose is I'm probably going to use this really to pinpoint where I want so I'll raise the bed up and then put an anchor down to the the body of the car and that'll give me my point where I want it to be instead of just trying to raise the bed then weld this in so get get my structure in and then once I've got this structure in which is pretty much the front of it is good to go then I can cut the one side loose and raise it up where I want it and that'll be perfect and it'll sit where it needs to be so Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. But that's all for tonight. Got an early morning tomorrow, so just a couple more hours in the garage and we'll be done. Back out here in the garage, about to get back to work on this uh, bed framing. Now that uh, I got part of it in, I'm going to work on the back half of it and then I'm going to start readjusting the bed to get it level and where it needs to be. So. Hopefully that won't be too horrible. Framework in. I'm gonna flip this around so I can show you guys. 
but uh, it's getting stormy around here, so it's about to call it a night. But I finished off the main part of the frame. I've got to put a little cross section in over here. This is the gas filler, so I'm real careful about that. So I, I, there's not enough room to sneak by over here, so I'm just going to frame this to right here, and there'll be a little gap in these two little areas. But I'll probably weld it to this area as well, or at least get something in here to make sure that we don't have a lot of flex. Obviously, I still need to put a lot of crossbars in. But I got my first actual connector down to the frame right there where I think I showed you before these are all that we're in on these things and as you can see they're super thin they flex all over the place matter of fact I had to move it over at least a quarter inch to the passenger side and that's why you see that severe angle on that is they flex so much I mean it was easy I just cut one and then flex it over to where I needed it to be I actually had to push this side back as well uh, it wasn't even and if you look up there now you can see it's kind of tilting towards the passenger side which is what I expected because it wasn't level there I've got it level now and I already knew that my, my cab basically was low on this side so I need to get some new uh, mounts uh, on this driver side and raise it up a little bit but but there it is I got the basic frame structure in there and one mount um, I do need to raise this side up from where it is so it's a little bit low on this side but I kind of expected that uh, it's not gonna be level front to back I want a little bit of a perch to it um, but in general it's getting there like I said I I cut the frame that these these actual L brackets were actually pretty decent but I cut that one loose so this that side has been cut loose completely to get things where I wanted it um, and to get it level so I still got to build a mount there I mean I'm going to build mount in all four corners but for now the driver's side is still still in place just so I had to kind of a pivot point uh, and didn't want to you know move it too far out but as you can tell you can see you know about a quarter inch of difference where it used to be welded in on that L bracket and how far back I had to push it in over to the side one so but still got stuff to do like I said I've only got like one piece of square tubing left so I've got to get more square tubing decide how far I'm going to go um, and get all these mounts built and get them structure in this bad boy so this thing doesn't freaking fly off during the power tour so all right see you guys later all right i'm back out here about to get back to work we got that framing done with the base but now i'm gonna put some more structure in there and then get back to work on uh actually some of the mounting to the frame on the back and on the front to the floors and stuff so so more and more and more it's the way it goes
See, I got my driver's side support in the back. I now got the mount for there. Everything's just kind of tacked in, not fully welded in. So I'll have to clean up a lot of stuff and get a weld all the way around this. And then I'll have to put some bracing from the front all the way down to this to kind of give it a little more support. There's a lot of stuff to do, but I still got to put this side in. It's still attached to the original L bracket, so I've got to put a support in there. Um, but the other spots are all, all in. I went and got some more square tubing because I was starting to run out already. So lots more to do, slowly but surely. And, and we'll show you the level. My floor isn't level, so this isn't level either, but 0.2. So not bad. Kind of fluxes the same thing on the rear. I don't like is this rear is about an eighth inch higher based on this corner angle to the ground. And I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. So it's a little frustrating in that aspect when I go corner to corner, but I just don't know how to really accurately say that or not, if that's actually level. Like I said, it's 0.2 on, on the front and on the rear. So at least it's equal, but this, this side does look a little bit higher but it could be just the floor itself. Uh, I mean, you can't really look at the cab because the cab is low on the driver's side, which is why it was leveled with the cab. So with the driver's side being lower, like literally I can open the passenger door and it'll sh shut itself because it's leaning. So I still gotta get those mounts. I still gotta get this rear wheel well figured out. This side, as you can see, looks really good. But this side is pressed in and you can see a lot more of the wheels. So I'm gonna to try to put like a, a bracket in here to push the back of this fender out. So we'll see how that goes, but probably gonna call it a night here. Later. Well, here we go, day four, working on this bed frame. Gotta get the uh, driver's side post in to mount it to the actual flooring of the crown vic and then put a lot of cross braces in and just make it more structurally sound clean it up do a lot more welding so i got a good day's worth of work ahead of me so time to get to it fashion during a project something always happens well 
ran out of welder gas again. Every time, I swear, I'm always in the middle of something and I'm like, yeah, I got plenty. I'm gonna get all this stuff welded up, boom, gas is empty. So, all right, gotta go do some other stuff and go get some gas, so. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. Of working on the 53 F250 is a, a lot of work. Take, took a lot of days to get it all really set in and ready. Um, but you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, but it's structurally sound now, some more welding to do on it. Um, but once, once I get done with all the welding, we're going to start working on the bed wood. So as usual, like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, we'll see you next week. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping out